I'm Poppy and you're watching Poppy Does Science. Hi, when I see people making fire tornadoes either on YouTube or at science shows, they're always really big. So I thought I'd show you how to make a smaller one using a wire pen pot and a really out of date fidget spinner. I recommend you get some help from an adult so you don't get hurt. As well as the metal pen pot and the fidget spinner, you will also need some solid fuel tablets. I tried using a candle, but when the tornado happens and it spins, the wax just goes everywhere. And then you will need something to hold your fuel, so I'm using an empty candle, like tea light candle case, and some blue tack to hold everything together. First of all, you need to add the tea light case to your pen pot. Make sure it's nice in the centre of it. So it spins evenly. Next remove either side of the fidget spin of the caps and then push this through slightly so it doesn't like hit off the table. Then add a piece of blue dock to that to secure it to the table. Then add three bits to each part of like these bits so we can attach it to the pen pot. Finally, make sure you stick this bit down nice and secure. There, and that's it all assembled. Now just drop the fire lighter in and let it burn until it settles. Now that it's settled, just, just give it a little spin and it should work. Whoa, that's so cool, it's going out the pot. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> yeah. Gosh, it's really hot as well. As flame burns, it heats the air around it, causing it to rise. Air is then drawn in from the bottom to replace it and the cycle continues. By spinning the pot, the air drawn in through the mesh is given spin, known as angular momentum. As it travels towards the centre, it speeds up. A bit like when an ice skater does a spin, and this causes tornado effect. I've had so much fun making this small little one that I think I'm just going to have to make a bigger one. I've got a bin here, so I can try it. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe. Bye!